What's up YouTube, it's Hack Your Device here and today I'm going to be giving you a jailbreak tutorial on how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.3 Now this jailbreak guide supports iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, old boot ROM and new boot ROM iPad 1 and iPod Touch 4 and iPod Touch 3rd generation Now if you didn't get all that or if I said it too fast then I've got a list of the devices available in the description down below as well as the Red Snow firmware downloads and the firmware download. Okay, so just to prove to you guys that I'm on iOS 4.3.3. General about. As you can see, I'm on iOS 4.3.3. Okay, so before we begin the process of jailbreaking, you want to make sure you've got these both files, these two files, downloaded to your desktop. You want to have the firmware and the Red Snow RC15 software. Okay, so once you've downloaded both of these, you want to right click and extract the Red Snow software to your desktop, and you should get a folder like that. Okay, listen up, people. If you're on Windows 7, okay, then I want you to right click on the redsnow.exe and go into properties. Okay. And you want to go compatibility, and then you want to tick this box. Run this program in compa compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3. Okay, just want to click apply, and now we should be able to run the software. And also, just to avoid any other errors, you just want to right click and press run as administrator. Okay, so it's going to ask us to browse for our firmware. So you just want to press browse and just locate the firmware, um, preferably downloaded to your desktop. Okay, and it's going to say processing firmware, and once it's done, it's going to give me the option to press next. Okay, so as you can see, the IPSW has been successfully identified. Just want to hit next. It's going to temporarily patch the kernel. It doesn't take very long. Okay. And you're going to have a bunch of options. So install Cydia obviously is um, automatically ticked. So you want to make sure that's ticked. And I'm just going to go ahead and enable the multi-touch gestures, which I will show you what it is after the video. And allow boot animation. Actually, I'm not going to take that. I'm just going to take install Cydia and enable multi-touch gestures. Okay, so you want to hit next. Now this is the stage where you want to have your device both plugged in and turned off. Okay, so my device is now successfully turned off and plugged into the computer. So now all you want to do is press next, but remember when you press next, it's going to cut you off guard. So you want to be prepared to press the power button, and I'll be guiding you through the steps of putting your iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad 1 into DFU mode. So let's just go ahead and press next. Three, two, hold home button. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, release home button. Okay, when you hear that noise, it's just going to go through a process. No, I said no. No, it's just that I've got a DVD you might want to watch. It's called The Top. Okay, so this step is normal. Just leave it to do its thing. It's, it's not damaging your phone or anything. Just leave it and it should go to the next stage in a minute. And now we're on this step and I'll be back okay so we're back just going through this step step 
and it's going to reboot. You can now press finish on Red Snow. should hear the noise when it turns back on okay if iTunes pops up just um, just leave it and okay if you get the white icon in Cydia Okay, if this happens, then just reboot your device. So just turn it off and then turn it back on. Okay, so I'm now on firmware 4.3.3 running Cydia, and I'm just going to be showing you what the multi touch gestures were. So basically, you just get your three fingers or four fingers, whatever you want to call it, and do this with the screen and it closes the app and as you can see I've now got the Cydia icon now what I had to do was I had to reboot the device and then I had to click on it it was still white and it goes through a process saying setting up files and you just um, let it do its thing and then go back to the home menu uh, it's pretty self explanatory you will find out when it happens so anyway if this video helped you and you're now jailbroken on 4.3.3 then make sure you vote up and subscribe and I will see you guys real soon in the next video.